Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to go over the detail how to express the impedance in each of the following circuit as complex number in both rectangular and in polar forms. So let's start with A. In this AC circuit, I only connected it with a resistor. So the impedance will be expressed as Z equal to 125 ohms as the real part. And I strongly recommend that everyone write 0J. Okay, so use your calculator, Casio FX991MS, and a few simple keys on that calculator will convert this complex number in from rectangular to polar form. And it's actually equal to 125, and the angle is 0 degrees, and both measure in ohms. So keep that in mind. Okay, so if you want to visualize this in terms of the phasor diagram, and you don't need to use a calculator to convert between rectangular and polar, then we can review it as this. Okay, so I draw a complex plane. This is the real part, and this is the imaginary axis. Okay, so on this real axis, I will project on this the vector for the resistor, which is equal to 125. So it will go from the origin to here. Let's say this is equal to uh, R equal to 125 ohms. Okay, so um, the value of the resistor will always take the positive uh, x-axis or the positive uh, real axis of this complex plane. So as you see, in polar form, it would be uh, a zero. Uh, degrees uh, angle in this case. Okay. However, it's a good idea to review and also to key into your calculator to figure out the answer uh, for this. Okay. So if we go to question number B, okay, don't forget that I am given uh, everyone the value as the uh, reactance. Okay. So we can use the reactance to um, write our impedance uh, in both rectangular and in polar form. We don't have to calculate this value right here. It's already given to us as the uh, reactance. Okay. So for question number B, okay, in this circuit, I only connect the inductor in this case. So um, Z will be equal to Okay. I don't have a resistor, so the real part of this uh, complex number in rectangular form would be equal to 0. And XL takes on the positive part of J. So I would write plus 71.0J. All right. Okay. So if you visualize this on the complex plane, Okay, again, this is real, this is imaginary, okay, and I have my XL represented as such. Okay, so this is my XL, and it's a plus 71J in this case, and if you take a look at this diagram, you can see that the angle would be equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so at the same time, if you use your calculator and you key this value into your calculator as the real part, this value into your calculator as the imaginary part, then your answer would be 71.0 and the angle expressed as 90 degrees angles. Again, both measure in ohms. All right, okay. So what about uh, for C? For C, what I have in this case is I 
connect it with just a capacitor. Okay, so Z is equal to zero because I don't have a resistor in this case, but I will subtract that with 15 J ohm. Why is it negative 15 J? It's because the capacitive reactance will take a negative part of J on the complex plane. So to visualize that, or to draw the phasor diagram, and again, we are going to label our axis. And I can present this one as it's going down to this part. So it's negative 15J in this case. All right? OK. So if we are talking about the angle or the argument in this case, then we are talking about this angle right here which is represented as negative 90 degrees. Or we can talk about this angle as counterclockwise, which should be equal to 270 degrees. OK, so if you use your calculator, your calculator will give you the following values in terms of uh, polar form. So it will be 15.0 as the uh, modulus and the argument could be equal to negative 90.0 degrees. Again, I try to express this as complex number uh, uh, in uh, three significant digits. Okay, so this is equivalent to 15.0 and 270 degrees as uh, three significant digits. Okay, so then I should put 15.0 j here so that I can express this as three significant digits as well. Okay, so don't forget the angles, okay, the angle if you go clockwise, you will have a negative angle. If you go counterclockwise, you have a positive angle. So in this case, 270 degrees is equivalent to uh, a negative 90 degrees uh, for the argument for this complex number in polar form. Okay, so let's go over the D. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so for D, uh, Z will be equal to uh, 151 as real plus 123J um, in ohms. Convert to polar, I should have it as 195 and the angle as 39.2 degrees ohm. So basically, it's all practice using uh, our calculator uh, FX991MS. So let's move on to the next example, which is uh, this diagram E. So in here, I have XE, the capacitive reactance, and the resistor. So to find Z, I will write Z equal to 71, and I subtract this with 40.0J because the capacitive reactance will take the negative part of J. Then to um, present this as polar form, I will have it 81.5 and the angles as negative 29.4 degrees. So again, they measure in ohms. Okay. So let's quickly go over this. I, will, I have uh, F. So for F, um, I have uh, I don't have a resistor in this case, but I am given the values for XL and the values for XC. Okay, so how do I write the complex number uh, in rectangular form? So I would like everyone to recall this formula that I have shown everyone. Uh, from uh, previous lesson, um, the reactance in term of magnitude will be equal to the XL subtract the XC always. All right. So keep this formula in mind. Then the first thing I do is I will find X by taking XL subtract XC. I will have 431 uh, subtract. 342 
So I will have it as uh, 81, I mean 89.0. Okay, so um, this number turns out to be a positive number. So you use that exact positive number to put it into your complex number in a rectangular form. So in this case, I don't have a resistor, so it's a zero. And you add that with 89.0J. And using your calculator, convert this into um, polar form. Again, it will be 89.0. And you see right away, you can recognize that the angle is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so they all measure in ohms. So it's uh, quite important and keep that in mind. Okay. So for number J, okay, again, I will calculate X by taking the XL, subtract the XC. So I will have 18, subtract 12. So I will have it as positive 6. Okay, so Z will be equal to, the R is given as 15.0. I add that with 6.00J ohms. Convert this to polar, it should be equal to 16.2. And the argument turns into 21.8 degrees and measure in ohms. All right, what about H? So in H, again, I will have to calculate the reactance by taking the uh, inductive reactance, subtract the capacitive reactance. So I will have 56 subtract 71. 56 subtract 71, <coughs> excuse me, my answer <coughs> is equal to a negative 15 ohms in this case. All right? Okay, so I will write Z as uh, 181, subtract 15.0 J, because now the negative 15, which is registered to the imaginary part of this complex number in rectangular form. Okay, so using our calculator, I can convert this into polar form, uh, so it will be equal to 182, and the angle turns into negative 4.74 degrees, and it's all measured in ohms. All right.